Welcome back. Ty Brennan is live on a really special story this morning. Ty, we're going to get right out to you because I think it's really neat what's happening uh, there live on location. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, Celestia. This is a fantastic story. We have been out here with our friends at Wild Horse Ranch before. They do so many great things. Uh, they're a rescue for a lot of horses. But today they are introducing one of their, their beautiful horses, Sir Duke, to a very special person here this morning. This is Diane. This one doesn't Oh, yeah, he's trying to push you, isn't he? <laughs> but, Deb, let's talk about this. What's going on here today? Well, we had actually a volunteer reach out to me, and her mom found out on Nextdoor app that there was a lady that was a horse person, and she was hospice and would love to be around the horses again. So we're like, <laughs> she said, can we do it? I go, absolutely, absolutely we can do it. So... I worked with Nadine, and we formulated this plan of bringing Diane here so she could meet Duke because he's our spokes horse, very gentle, and that's how it all developed. And we've been here just a couple hours, but she loves this. She's just been lighting up, been petting him, yes. been brushing him, really bringing back a lot of memories for her from when she had horses back in the day, right? Yeah, because when we first came to the ranch to greet her, she was very somnolent and wasn't speaking, said nothing wouldn't look at me. Uh, we brought her out here and started introing Duke to her and let her start with brushing and getting used to him and him to her. And with that happening, she started a little smile and then it was a few words and now she's in full-blown conversation yeah. and laughing. Yeah, that's what Duke will do to you, right? Yep. He's yep. such a, a great ambassador. He's amazing. Nadine, I want to uh, talk to you because you're with Noble Hospice. Uh, Diane is one of your guests there. Talk a little bit about uh, about Diane and what this means for you to kind of be able to I give an experience Diane like this. Like yes, so we are with Noble Hospice and we are locally owned and operated hospice. We're here to bring joy, comfort, peace to our patients and create once-in-a-lifetime experiences like this for Diane, who is an avid horse lover. Uh, being able to see joy on her face today has really been so wonderful for all of us. As Deb said, when she arrived, she was a little bit more solemn, and as soon as she met Duke, she completely opened up. So again, we're just so grateful for Wild Horse Ranch and for our entire hospice team to be able to create this experience for her. This is fantastic. You mentioned this is something that you guys are kind of, you guys like to do this for your guests. You said after COVID, unfortunately, everybody kind of had to be locked down for everybody's safety, but now that things are kind of opening back up, this is something that you guys want to do to see, to give these experiences to all of your guests. Absolutely. COVID has been such an isolating experience for our patients who are in memory care, assisted living, skilled nursing. So creating opportunities like this, again, uh, you know, once in a lifetime, we really want them to find the joy in life, yeah. so, especially when they're on our services. Sure. Well, Diane, I'm glad that you got to see these horses. What do you think so far? This has been a pretty cool experience, huh? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Well, Diane, thank you. It was nice to meet you. Duke is such a great ambassador for everybody out here, so you can see just what a great experience this is for everybody. They're all having a lot of fun. Back to you guys.